post-World War II period, we've really become an automobile culture by that time. Um, there are increasing numbers of roadways that uh, facilitate uh, vacation. More and more people came down here vacationing and then many people decided they wanted to live here year-round. Or they decided they wanted to build uh, summer residences down here or seasonal residences down here. Scenic Highway 30A evolved in 1967. Prior to that, it was just sand dunes and, you know, open spaces. So to come from Defuniac Springs, you would have to, it would be a day trip even to get to the Gulf. It's so unique that we have 11 coastal dune lakes along that 30A corridor that exchange waters with the Gulf of Mexico. And it's, it's rare and unique and amazing on that 18 mile stretch of roadway. I am a historic preservationist from other communities I've lived in, and I had been here since 1972. This was then, oh, 2005, and we were ready to secure the Scenic Highway designation so we could protect and preserve the 18 miles of East-West Highway. We had to form a 501c3. We had an attorney to advise us. We met with amazing people from within the community to assist on some of the requirements that the Scenic Highway Group needed. And uh, basically, there are six intrinsic resources for a designation. Scenic, natural, recreational, archeological, historical, and cultural. And we fulfilled all of those requirements for the DOT and for the state of Florida. And we did it in 2008 with a unanimous decision to approve our special scenic highway 30A. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> You may be attracted by the beach, but when you drive down 30A and you, you know, you, you, go, you drive over one after another after another, it, it, it just piques your curiosity and you say, what, what are these? The coastal dune lakes are a little bit different. They do give you a glimpse of the sand dunes. They give you an idea that you're somewhere in a coastal environment. You can see them from a car. Um, they're still best experienced by foot, but I think it separates us from other beach communities because these lakes have been preserved. They really offer stunning sunset vistas, and I think they entice you to park the car. One of the points of the scenic highway designation uh, is that a scenic highway enhances a traveler's journey. So, if you're going to enhance a traveler's journey, you need to keep it pristine and clean and agreeable. N and no billboards and, and uh, lots of beauty to absorb and look at and share. Sponsored by the St. Joe Community Foundation, supporting the arts, education, health care, and the environment.